guys, welcome to the Now, Madam Kovic. And I'm Bruce Green. Let's talk about some sales numbers. Uh, Destiny sales numbers, to be exact. We know you guys like to go out of your way to tell everyone just how disappointed you were with Destiny. <laughs> tell everyone, your friends, your mom, your dad, even though he doesn't call you. Oh, anyway, uh, well, Activision actually can't hear you over all the piles of cash clogging their orifices. <laughs> offices. Really? Yeah, I like orifices. Okay, either way. <laughs> uh, seriously, it's a it's a real problem though. The fire marshals get involved. Oh, People geez. are developing respiratory problems. So where did all that asbestos cash come from? Twenty million players. That yeah. number comes courtesy of some college level math from IGN. Oh, huzzah! Yeah. In a recent earnings call, Activision announced that Destiny and Blizzard's digital trading card game Hearthstone mm -hmm. had quote combined now have more than 50 million registered players and nearly one billion dollars in non gap. <laughs> the shop of the gap? Yeah. Old man. Revenues. Anyway. Uh, Eagle Eye IGN noted that Blizzard recently tweeted that Hearthstone reached 30 million players. Apply some calculus and whammo, you got 20 million players for Destiny. I only made it through Algebra 2. Uh, well, that's all right. Bruce, you played Hearthstone for like a day. I still play it. So anyway, yeah, 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 we know what you guys are thinking. We know that there are some caveats to all of that. Yeah. Uh, you Destiny haters, man, you... Never stop. You never stop. I really you, never you stop. You let us know all the time how much you hate playing Destiny. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, so that's actually registered players, not unit sales. Okay. That means 20 million people, and that includes that played the game yep. uh, in early alpha, multiple people playing off the same disc, Rendell's, all that stuff. There's a lot of people playing this game. They'd have more if it was on PC. All right, still, no, yeah, still 20 million is ridiculous for a new IP. Uh, we'll apply some rough justice and say the game's sales are probably around 15 million. All right, Ashley, give us some dirty math on that 15 million number. That's three quarters of 20 million, 75%. That's not bad, right? And then in terms of sales, what do you think we get? That's like $900 million in revenue. Holy That's shit! Swimming pools of money. That's almost a billion. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, look, we know that figure's not accurate because Activision also announced that Destiny and Hearthstone combined have earned nearly $1 billion in non gap revenue life to date. So, not Excellent. all the way. But still, it's close. So, that actually makes sense since publishers don't get the entire $60 from a game sale. Yep. Uh, with the hard copies and even digital. Yeah. Uh, part of that goes to the developer, part of that goes to the retailer. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of little people biting, getting their little bits. Uh, the next best tool we have to get an idea of sales is our old buddy VGCharts.com, most what? reputable website that substitutes an S for a Z on the internet. It's hit 15 years ago. <laughs> uh, according to those figures, Destiny has sold 10.17 million combined on all platforms. Okay. And when you consider that VG Charts doesn't track digital copies, oh. it's likely Destiny sold somewhere in the 12 to 14 million range. All right, so what does that mean, Ashley? Well, that means the Destiny sold really fucking well, is what that means. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. That, that does mean. It's probably the biggest new IP. So what some other new IPs have done, um, Borderlands did 5.5 million on its first go out. Watch Dogs did 8.1 million. Titanfall did 4.3 million. And uh, the biggest one probably is Assassin's Creed that did 11 million. Destiny's doing okay. So barring games like Candy Crush or League of Legends, it's safe to say that Destiny is the biggest new IP of the last five years, making Activision a not liar. Uh, and yet, tons of people on the internet insist the game is dead, everyone hates it, and will never hear from it again. What, who are these people? Uh, as near as we can tell, there are a few camps. First, people that bought it, played it, and are actually still playing it. Uh, yeah, people in our office like Matt Peak and Lawrence. Uh, yeah, Zer, me though. I guess Zer is selling cool. a Thunderlord, whatever that means. Uh, oh shit. What's a Thunderlord? I needed some old coins. <laughs> No, strange coins. Thunderlord! Why do I know that? Uh, these players are just quietly having fun instead of getting on forums to tell everyone how much they don't like Destiny. Uh, next there are people who tried it and just didn't really care for it. Actually, that's sort of how it went for you, right? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I tried the game out of curiosity more than anything. I wanted to see what Bungie was gonna do after Halo. And I was also curious to see how they were gonna tackle the MMO, not MMO on the console. Yeah, it turns out it's just an MMO. So I played it for a little bit and then you know, not my thing, I fell off it. The biggest Destiny fan in our house is a 10 year old boy. Oh, okay, well how long has he been playing it? Since it came out. He's, that whole like, uh, the, the RNG and the looting and all that sort of stuff, that got him perfectly. He's yep. a nutcase for it. He would get his favorite equipment or his favorite new weapon, and then all he'd want to do is go get the next favorite one. That makes sense. This could explain Destiny's high registered player base. Tons of people that just wanted to see what was next and tried out the alpha or played the game for a few days and then moved on, like Ashley. But then there's the 10 year old that's still playing it, just like Matt Peak and Lawrence. So, Matt Peak and Lawrence, your guys are Yay! 10, 10 years old. Look, there's a 10 year old in all of us. Yay, kids. Ninja Turtles! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, finally, there's also people who just didn't like it yeah. and can't wait to let you know how much they didn't like it. 
Uh, we get it, guys. Sometimes games come out and you don't like them. It's right, tough, yeah. Yeah. but we're confident we can get through this whole. I didn't together. get to like it. It was about PC. Just My get it. Console. Get it. Stop there's, whining. You have an Xbox. I gave it to you. Actually, there's one more camp out there. People that never shut up about how much they hate the game, but are still playing it nonstop. <laughs> Who's doing this? Uh, it, it's an addiction, man. I can stop whenever I want. Who's doing it? Regardless of how you feel about it, the fact is, Destiny is a breakout success. You can bet your ass there will be a Destiny 2, Cryptarch's Revenge. Or Destiny 2, Redestiny. Uh, Ashley, what, what about, what do you got over there? Uh, Threestiny. Threestiny? Destiny 3? <laughs> Destiny 4, it's coming out before the fifth one. Destiny 4? <laughs> oh, oh, oh you heard it here first, confirmed. Anyway, Activision's got a lot of money. Uh, please like and subscribe if you want to find out how much more money Activision has.